Alright guys, what's good? Uh, I got a video for you today regarding the Nike Flight 1s. Okay, and initially I was going to do a good quality video. Uh, I know I've said this in other videos, I was going to do a good quality video, have like some Jordan pictures of him wearing the shoes, have video clips, edit it, do it all nice and all that stuff. But, of course, issues arise that basically make this into a discussion video. Um, so I'm just going to get started with just some more of the BS Nike's been uh, putting us as consumers through, I guess you would say. Okay, so I go to House of Hoops on uh, State Street a few days ago, and they said they had the shoes. Um, they said that they had the Nike Air Flight 1s. And then I go to uh, the store at 7 o'clock this morning. No one's there. And they tell me um, that they don't have them. And I'm like, what's the deal with that? And then I go to, then I call Nike Town on, I believe it's either Michigan or State. And they state that, oh, just check the Twitter. We don't know. Like, Honestly, you can't give me a damn answer. Like, I, I I hate how many hoops you have to jump through to get get an answer uh, these days. So I was like, you you don't know. This was an employee who worked in the store, and he just kept saying, "Just check our Twitter feed. It'll update. It'll update." Like, I don't want to sit at my computer and look at Twitter. Like, I I don't even use Twitter that much anyway. Like, it. To me, Twitter is kind of stupid. Like, it's basically just used for stalking celebrities for the most part. But that's a topic for another day. So, I at that point I called Nike.com, and keep in mind the shoe didn't release online either. I checked online at seven this morning Central Time, and Nike.com didn't have the shoe. So that's when I went to House of Hoops. They didn't have the shoe. Nike Town didn't have the shoe. So then I call all the local uh, boutique shops in Chicago, and all of them had the shoe. So at this point, I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I call Nike.com customer service, and the guy, I ended up literally being on the phone for an hour. Um, the guy was like, it's not on the release calendar. And I'm like, I know, I can access the release calendar on Nike.com. Like, I hate how they tell you everything on the website. It's stuff you can access. Like, they act like I'm stupid. Um, so I'm like, yeah, I already checked. He's like, hold on, let me check the September calendar. I'm like, okay. And we keep going through this. I'm like, it's on, I was like, every, every major sneaker blog said the shoe released today. Um, I was like, nice kicks, uh, kicks on fire. Like, I was running down, like, the top ten. He's like, well, I can't say whether or not those sources are reliable. And I was like, well, then, not only that, but people have done uh, review videos of them online. People have them at these boutiques, etc. Um, he's like, yeah, that, that's weird. I don't know how to explain that. So... Eventually, after about an hour of all this searching and whatnot, after I told him they were on eBay, you could find them anywhere, basically. He goes, oh, I'm speaking to uh, another employee here. He goes, hold on. And then he comes back and he's like, oh, oh, yes, it, it does look like those released uh, October 1st. And he's like, and they will continue to be... Um, released until November 2nd. November 2nd, after that point, they will no longer be released anymore. And I'm like, what's that mean? He's like, oh, well, they could have um, a restock or they could put them online anytime between October 1st and November 2nd. And I was like, that is absolutely ridiculous, honestly. Like, you can't have this more precise than this. And he's like, um... That's a good point. I will I will submit that to uh, the people above me. And for your consideration and time, 
I will give you 10% discount on your next Nike purchase. And at this point, I was like, all right, fair enough. Like, And I ended up calling uh, a bunch of uh, the boutique shops in Chicago. And most of them only had one size 12 at each location. So it does sound like it was a lot more limited than I thought it'd be. Uh, I thought it was like a, a general, general release. Um, it, it may still be, correct me if I'm wrong, but based on the numbers and every, everybody I've talked to, all the locations i talked to, it seemed like everybody was getting a pretty limited stock. And considering Nike Town and at least the House of Hoops on State Street didn't get them, does seem kind of odd. Uh, but I guess I'll get into the shoe. One weird thing that I noticed off the bat, I don't know if this means anything, but as you notice, the box, uh, it's, a, it's the Nike Sportswear box. It's basically, they, they constructed it in the wrong way. So the top, the top of the box has nothing. Um, but the label, I checked the label, it matches up with all my other Nike Sportswear boxes. Um, it's got the yellow back there. Uh, everything on it look, looks correct to me. Um, and then the inside has uh, the little uh, tabs there, you see. So, and the shoes fit comfortably in the box. So nothing, and then as you can see right here, I actually just noticed this. Um, the part that's typically on the bottom is right here and it's been cut in half. So it looks like they just did a crappy job of uh, forming the box in this case. But um, I guess let's get into the shoe. <sighs> this took way more work to get than I thought it would, but I love this shoe. Um, the first thing that I noticed was the tongue is very similar material to the... Uh, well, not really, but it's similar in a sense to me to the uh, Penny Five, Penny Fives that I got. It's a very, very padded tongue. It's kind of silky, and uh, the inside's pretty padded. It's it's not that comfortable, but it's not bad either. Um, I, I'm sure everybody knows about the whole Jordan thing and cutting the tab off the back and all that. Uh, so I'll just touch on a few reasons why I like this shoe. Um, really, there's there's four shoes from my childhood that I that I significantly remember. Um, four. The first one is, of course, the Concords. Um, that that, and then hold on, I'll pull. I'll get them real quick. Uh, these are my basketball shoes. Uh, that I play with and I still say to this day this is either number one or number two all time for best basketball shoe in my opinion but the 11 low uh, breads um, so the Concords these the Reebok questions I took those off because it's raining raining here and they're soaking wet uh, but those, those three and this shoe are the four shoes I remember most significantly from my childhood. Uh, it was actually 90, 95, 96 is basically when all those shoes were came out. Uh, well, I don't know if the questions were a little later than 96, but they were all in that time span of about first grade to fourth or fifth grade. And one of my buddies, one of my best friends in first grade, was a huge Orlando Magic fan. And he was a Magic fan because of Penny and Shaq. And I was, I've always been a diehard Bulls fan. And I believe it was 95 when Jordan wore these, which uh, is when they came back. Um, which is when he came back from retirement and they ended up actually losing against the Orlando Magic. And it was, uh, it was the 94-95 season. Uh, 
and I distinctly remember Penny Hardaway wearing these, and I distinctly remember the Jordan gang. Like, this shoe, this shoe, I, I distinctly remember. Um, so those four shoes from my childhood are really, really have a lot of memories to me. And in addition to those four shoes, really, the only other two, there's really only two shoes I want to get, to basically fill out my collection in terms of retros, and that is uh, the He Got Game 13s, which I'm happy they're going to retro. I'm, I'm hoping to get those. And the Command Force Highs, and they're retroing those too. But the thing about the Command Force Highs is they have yet to um, show a colorway from White Men Can't Jump, which is where I absolutely love that shoe from. Uh, I don't, I'd say if I had to pick my favorite colorway of the ones that they've shown so far, it'd be that all white with the teal blue fade at the bottom. Um, really, I, I don't like any of the colorways I've seen that much a ton. But if they if they pull out those heat uh, not the heat guy game but white men can't jump command force eyes those in the thirteens and I'd be satisfied with my collection probably till the day I die um, if new shoes start coming out I'll probably pick them up uh, well I shouldn't say that's a very uh, big statement um, I meant to say if more shoes come out, newer shoes come out that catch my eye, I may get them. But in terms of nostalgia shoes, I've got, I've got basically every shoe that has some sort of um, meaningful, meaningful value to me from my childhood. Uh, so that, that was kind of one of my big reasons for getting back into shoes more hardcore lately. But uh, yeah, so basically, that's that. These are the Flight 1s. Uh, my favorite part of this shoe is the tongue. It's got that uh, kind of corrugated, um, I don't know if that's the word I would use, but kind of uh, separated pattern of gray and black. And then I love this... Uh, Nike basketball on the tongue there, but anyways, I, that's that's about all I have for this one. Um, I'm thinking about doing a discussion video on the boycott as well as the number of releases Jordan has been putting out, but other than that, one quick thing I forgot to mention, the LeBron 10s, in my opinion, I don't care what colorway they put out. The shoe was ugly to me. I'm, I do not see myself buying a pair of LeBron tens for myself. The I don't know what it is, but I think it's the backward Nike sign on the left shoe. It just looks so off to me. Like I just don't like the way it looks. I, just the LeBron ten line, I think, has fallen off, and I think the Durants have even taken a step back as well. But I think the Durants are going to be better than people think. And I, I do still like the overall layout of the Durants, the new Durants, more than the LeBrons. I'm just really disappointed in the LeBron line. Um, although the one thing that I do like about the LeBrons is the absolute insane air pocket on the bottom. That thing is nuts. I just want to walk in and see how they feel. But uh, that's about it for this video. Um, let me know your thoughts, comments. Uh, in the bottom. Sorry it ran a little long, but hopefully you're going to have some discussions soon. Peace.